It never fails when your camera battery dies on you, so my apologies for the brief cutoff, but either way, thank you, as I was saying, for watching part one. Now you are currently watching parte dos. So if you haven't seen part one, the first half of my collection, check it out right now on my channel. And again, sorry for the cutoff. So yeah, let's get on with more collectible goodness, shall we? Um, the final front of all my collection here, the final bits. And they are quite special in my opinion, uh, some of them. Uh, let's see, first up we have uh, Emperor Palpatine. I heard the Jedi Luke is coming back, for those of you who are collector collectors of Star Wars memorabilia and Funko Pops as well. Uh, that's what I was hearing, they're going to be variant packaging. The original Luke, Jedi Luke I think, and a couple other ones that were retired will have this packaging, but the new ones will apparently be released like one new one every month so people can have a chance to pick them up, but yeah, I, I'm not the biggest fan of Star Wars, but I wouldn't mind a Jedi Luke, that would be kind of cool, and I wouldn't mind, um, hmm, maybe a Han Solo, I think he's one of the ones that was retired, either way, pretty cool pop, Emperor Palpatine, I just always love that phrase, uh, that he always just, uh, if, another random impression here, good, good, come to the dark side stupid I know I'm sorry <laughs> I've embarrassed myself way too much on this channel sometimes anyways next up Robocop dead or alive you're coming with me and so many other amazing quotes uh, I love Robocop it's one it's my favorite sci-fi movie of all time yes I do enjoy it better than Star Wars and Terminator and all that I don't know what it is I grew up with Robocop that that's all I can say is I, I love the figure He's just fucking awesome. He's got, I don't know if I can catch it on the camera, but he's got a little gun in there. I mean, this is just legit. I mean, I love the, even they use the original artwork of the movie. I, so, so simply just awesome. He's got a shine to him. I love this pop. This is one of my favorite pop figures thus far and very happy to have it in my collection. And next up is the three Ghostbusters. We got uh, Dr. Raymond Stans. I collect spores. <laughs> uh, Dr. Egon Spangler. Um, Egon, but not forgotten. Rest in peace, Harold Ramis. And of course, we came, we saw, we kicked its ass. Dr. Peter Bankman, a.k.a. Bill Murray. Uh, just just an amazing, just uh, not a trilogy. I, I keep thinking the reboot is going to be part of the trilogy. Oh, God, that's just <clears throat> such a mess, but... I love the original movies. I don't care what people say about part two. I enjoy that one. I think it's a pretty good companion piece sequel. Not as good as the original, but still fun. And I love these Funko Pops. So detailed, but also simple as well. Again, that's the only way I can describe these figures. Simple, but detailed at the same time. I don't know how they do it, but Funko Pop don't ever change. Make your figures as awesome as long as you can. And last but definitely not least, we shall go move up. I'm going to gonna bring the camera don't get scared all right <sighs> gonna get up close and personal there's my red ranger right there i am desperately trying to get a rocket and Groot mini bobble i love this setup that i have up here and as you can see i do have all five of the original guardians of the galaxy wave along with my actual blu-ray and I got myself the Dancing Groot from Disney Movie Rewards. Hopefully you all picked up on that and were able to pick that up for free because I know I did with these two. Got very lucky and got those for free at the height of their popularity. So, But yes, these little mini bobbleheads, I hate the fact that they're mysteries because it just sucks and people charge an arm and a leg for just these tiny little figures. It's hard enough to pay like 20 bucks for a standard size pop, but for these tiny little things, 20 bucks? Let's get out of here. No, fuck that shit. Um, but anyways... Yeah, that, that, it is what it is, I guess, but that is it. Put you guys down here. Angle everything. Gotta love fucking tripods. They're always fun to mess with sometimes. Whew. That should do it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in for parts one and two, if you did, of my entire Funko Pop collection. It'll only get larger, I assume, within the next few months. Again, though, I'm not a hardcore collector where I buy like five or ten of them at a time. Otherwise, my wallet will just be non-existent. I need to live. 
I need to eat food. Hell, I'm struggling between these and Blu-ray, so that's a struggle enough on its own. So, yeah. Um, but for those of you who do collect Funko Pops, let me know what is your favorite Funko Pop in your collection in the comments below, or just, just I don't know, whatever you like to share, a story, whatever. Feel free to do so in the comments below. So, uh, stay tuned for the bigger one. <laughs> My entire Blu-ray DVD collection. Yes, that is coming very soon. I wanted to do one at the very beginning of the year, give or take, and the end of the year. So, yeah, it's going to be a... Oh, there went my phone. Sorry. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a tough one. That's going to be a multi-parter right there. So stay tuned for those of you who are interested in my Blu-ray collection. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for other awesome video goodness coming very soon. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Anthony Flotus with Collectible Goodness. And we'll see you next time.